Hello, I was just talking to the camera and it wasn't even turned on, duh. Right then, so, um, tag response first, uh, it was an open tag by Rob, Maximum RD, which retro game do you think should be remade on modern consoles? Um, fascinating question, um, I, I looked at the, the replies to Rob's video and he does great tag videos. Um, and his choice, and a, a lot of other people's, was, uh, yeah, a really good one, because he said, um, um, Road Rash. And I thought, well, damn, perfect. How can I top that? And the answer is I can't, because that would be a bloody brilliant remake. And they really ought to do it. I mean, uh, Electronic Arts are into their franchises, and doing, like a new version of a game every year or two a year it seems with some of them um, so yeah why not do Road Rash but given that he's already suggested that I've cracked my brains trying to think of another one and I came up with two the first one well what is my all time favourite arcade game that uh, it has appeared on home systems on, on the computers 8 and 16 bit that really, really could do with a remake. Star Wars, Atari Star Wars, not the Sega one, not nothing. I mean, there's some modern, uh, is it Star Wars trilogy, whatever, arcade game. I don't know anything about that really. I, I've stood watching it and thought that looks cool. But no, the original Atari Star Wars vector graphics, you've got your. You're in your X-Wing, you're fighting your TIE fighters, and then you go down to the surface of the Death Star and you're shooting up towers and, and bunkers and stuff. And then you go into the trench and you're avoiding catwalks and shooting gun turrets on the sides and trying not to die before dumping your, your, your bomb thing into the exhaust port. And then you do it all over again. That, with super duper funky modern graphics, would be great. Don't bung in any more extra levels and anything, just just give us that, but with modern graphics. That I would love, though um, <coughs> I, I would probably wind up, I, I, would, I would hope that they would put a version of the original in there as well. In fact, I wish they'd just do that. G give us a Star Wars game somewhere and then give us the Atari game and throw in a proper controller for it as well. Yeah, that's what I'd like. In fact, someone just make a controller that we can use on MAME. <laughs> yeah. Um, another game that crossed my mind that would really do well with a remake, I think, is Battlezone. I love that game. Uh, just running around in a tank, blowing stuff up. Great. I mean, you can do that on various games anyway. But it seems like very often that's not the getting into the tank seems to be like the little bonus bit. Well, I want to be in the tank all the time. Um, Battlefield 1943, you can do it. You know, you can spend... Well, you, you can spend up until you die in the tank. Uh, and Battlefield... Battlefield 2. Um, stuff like that, you know. It, it, it's, uh, it's a choice. Do you drive the tank or do you drive something else? And there are uh, levels on various first-person shooters where you get to drive a tank. But how about just... Uh, uh, arcade style in the tank blow everything up kind of game that I would like hmm yeah so that's my tag response to uh, Rob's video open tag anyone who wants to do a video feel free um, responses to Rob not to me because he he came up with the thing okay um friends list Here's a thing, you will notice, or some of you will notice, I've suddenly added you to my friends list and maybe thinking, oh, yeah, I, I tried to add you ages ago and you turned me down and blah blah, or, or not. And there is a reason for the whole friends list thing at the moment. How I used to treat my friends list was, 
I would only add people to it if they were watching the same things as me and into the same things as me. It never had anything to do with whether I liked a person or not. Uh, well, actually, if I didn't like them, I didn't add them, but there were lots of people who I liked and like who I, I didn't add them to my friends list because they were watching stuff that I wasn't interested in. And I used to use the was it recent activity or whatever page. In fact, it was for a, it was the the first page you came to on YouTube, and you'd see recent activity. And I used to use that. That was a great way of finding new videos, stuff people were doing, new people. You know, the people on your friends list. If they liked a video, you got to see it. And so, if people were liking stuff that I wasn't interested in, I didn't add them to my friends list. Um, it was a tool and absolutely nothing to do with whether I considered a person a friend or not. Well, YouTube obviously have changed the way the front page works, and so I don't use it that way anymore. Um, so what a person watches and whether I'm interested in it is no longer relevant. However, I, I now have a much more useful use for it. Yeah, some of you will be aware that I've had a little bit of bother with a couple of people who just can't take go away for an answer. So uh, I've set my channel and my videos to friends only and moderated. What that means is if you're on my friends list, you can comment, no problem, it goes straight up there onto the screen and you don't have to wait for me to click a thing saying, yeah, this comment is okay. So anyone who comments who I know is okay, who I'm friends with, who's made decent comments in the past, you know, whatever, I know they're a civilised person who's not going to be an arse, I'm adding them to, them to my friends list. Um, and what that means is I can, anyone can comment whether they're on my friends list or not, but those who aren't on it, I have to click to confirm that that comment is okay. So I'm trying to avoid having to click anything by adding just about everyone. I want you to be my friends. And of course it's just, it's a way of filtering out the nonsense that I'm getting from just a couple of very silly people. And it works, it's doing great, um, because none of you will get to see what they say, and neither will I actually, because when I spot that it's them, I just delete them and don't read what they say, which is great. And it's working, so uh, if you suddenly get a friend's request from me, that's what it's all about. It's so you can comment without me having to uh, confirm it. It's like moderating in IRC. Um, the old chat rooms I used to hang about in, you could set the room to plus M, that was it. And when the room was plus M, no one could speak unless you gave them plus V, voice. And uh, yes, I'm giving everyone I can voice. Hmm. Okay, moving on. I've seen a few videos recently, and the most recent one was by... Uh, Rich, Review Tech USA, and the, the topic is, and the question that keeps being asked is, is the gaming community dying? And I, I keep seeing this, and people are saying, oh, you know, it, it, it's all going to hell, people are leaving, people aren't making videos anymore, they're getting um, partnerships, and then they're being crap and stuff. And... I've got to say, I don't find that to be true at all. All I can conclude is that you're watching the wrong people. I don't know if this is a transatlantic thing because I have noticed that all of the people who are saying this are American. Maybe, I don't know. I don't know if that's a factor. I don't know, is it different over there? I, I know someone said it a while ago and I, I thought, oh, a load of rubbish. That, it, that the the community is different in the UK than it is in America. I don't know if that's true, um, but I do know absolutely from my own experience the community is not dying and it is not going crap. Um, of of the people I've seen who've got partnerships, I've only known one let it go to their head. In fact, they just went completely off the rails. But I don't think that's anything to do with them getting partnership. I just think they're a bit. Anyway. Yeah, so I mean, uh, the joys of editing. Look at this lot here. I'm, I'm going to add loads of text up around me of channels that are putting out videos, you know, recently lots of on a regular basis that are great videos who are good 
members of this community and it is constantly the thing is people come and go that's that's the way it works um, you've got to keep up so some channels that you may like will go away and they'll stop making videos I mean there are there are some who I miss um, Chelsea Dreamcast and Pocket Mego I, I miss those guys well I mean Pocket Mego is still around commenting but he stopped making videos and I miss them new people come along you got to keep up um, otherwise it will look like it's dying but there are more people coming than are leaving and I, I just I don't know it bothers me when I see people saying oh it's all going, going to hell all I can say is you're watching the wrong channels and the, the backbiting and the backstabbing I hear referred to well again you're watching the wrong channels there is, I see very very little of it and I think the reason maybe is when I see channels that are inclined to do that kind of thing I don't subscribe to them or if I'm already subscribed to them I unsubscribe so I don't see all the bullshit or maybe you enjoy that kind of thing and like subscribing to those people and like the drama well in that case the community will seem to be full of it but I've got to say it's so very much in the minority it, this there are so many good things going on out there with so many people supporting each other, helping each other, um, that I find it absolutely fantastic. And any suggestion that it's all going to hell, I, I got to say, I find it ridiculous. And that's no disrespect to anyone who's done those videos. I just think you're looking at the wrong channels, because from where I'm sitting, it rocks and it just keeps getting better. Okay shout out and this actually is an example of, uh, of what I was saying people doing great things let me turn the camera around okay I got a message recently from a chap called devious television who is running a website getdevious.com and on that website on the URL getdevious dot com slash atari slash pca is an awards thing i don't know thing what else i <laughs> don't know what you would call it uh, it's an awards thing um all kinds of retro gaming stuff your favorite this that and the other um retro gaming websites homebrew homebrew artists reproduction cartridges youtube show and then he <laughs> picked an awful picture of me <laughs> YouTube community member and this I mean it absolutely made me smile when when um when I heard about this when I was told about this it was just before I went away for my break and then I forgot about it because it was pretty much on the day that I went away and I thought okay cool and then I saw Rob Maximardi make his video pointing out this thing and uh, I thought oh yeah I remember that and there's there's Rob and there's me and Mr. In Television and Atari Leaf and basically you get to vote and I'm, I'm not going to say hey vote for me because these are ex <laughs> these are great guys so vote for who you like I'm actually I mean I would just feel wrong voting for myself so they're all great. I'm, I think I'm going to vote for Rob because I've known him the longest and he's cool. But uh, yeah, I just wanted to bring this to your attention. It's not me saying, hey, vote for me, though feel free to if you want to, but check this site out and vote for your favourite stuff. There's loads of it and uh, it's all really good stuff really you know the choices to vote for are good one or two where I think I wouldn't vote for any of those that's not my favorite but there are still good choices and I mean well you can't include any everything can you you can't when you've got like your favorite Atari 2600 category you could not have everything in there so some of these aren't going to be your favorites but they're good choices asteroids space invaders missile command yards revenge my favourite Atari game is Battle Zone. That's not there, but I'm not going to cry, cry, cry about it because I'll vote for Space Invaders because I love that game. This is good. It's fun, and I do like things like this. Awards, surveys, whatever. I have no idea what that's about. King of Kong. Don't know. 
Um, I, I'll, I'll just maybe I'll vote for him because I like I like his. Actually, I don't know. I like his. <laughs> yeah, whatever. Uh, I don't know who they are. <laughs> yeah, there you go. So that is getdevious.com slash Atari slash PCA. I'll put a link down in the down there. Um, you know, stuff like this, it just I think it, it kinda proves my point. This community is great. There are great things going on. It's a lot of fun. Get involved. That's really what I would say. Get involved. You'll see for yourself. It's not dying. It's not going crap. It's fantastic. Closing comments then. Uh, 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 more of the same really. More Archimedes games. I am absolutely positively definitely this week going to do a system review of the Archimedes. Loads of people have asked me to do it or if I'm going to do it or has someone actually has done one and I watched it recently and I've completely forgotten who it was uh, if you're watching leave a comment the guy with the Archimedes video because <laughs> it's great it's a really good video um, and I will put up a, an annotation to it so people can go watch that because it's very interesting but yes I will be doing a system review this week most likely, uh, fingers crossed just in case I don't, please don't get mad at me, you know what I'm like. Dog barking, gotta go and sort that out. I think that's everything I wanted to say. Thank you for watching.